Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you all are doing extremely well. So in this video, we are going to solve today's problem of the day on the Geeks for Geeks platform. So today's problem is minimum number in a sorted rotated array. So as usual, first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement, then the logic part, then we will be proceeding to the coding part, right? So as per the Geeks for Geeks, the uh, the problem has been marked as easy. So even I believe the same. Right, so first of all, we will be understanding the problem statement. So let's start. Before proceeding further, make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed the channel till now. It will really motivate me to create more such content for you. So please, please do consider subscribing my channel and make sure to join our Telegram community as well. The link for the Telegram channel is given in the description itself. So the problem says, given an array of distinct elements which was initially sorted, this array is rotated at some unknown point. The task is to find the minimum element in the given sorted and rotated array. Coming to the example, so n equal to 10, this is showing that the size of the array, right? So there are 10 elements in the array, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1. So they have mentioned that initially the array was sorted, but Later on, it got rotated. So, in this array, you have to determine the minimum number. Okay. So, here you can see in this array, the minimum number is 1. And that's what we are getting in the output. Okay. So, here's our next example. So, here as well, you can see the minimum number is what? What we are getting in the output. Okay. So, whatever task is, we have to complete the function min number, which takes the array ARR and it's starting and ending indices low and high as inputs and returns the minimum element in the given sorted and rotated array expected time complexity and auxiliary space they have specified so first of all the most basic idea that will be there in your mind what we can do is we can take a variable like initialize a variable uh, with something integer dot min a max value right provide a very large value to that particular variable and then what we can do is we can do the comparison with all the elements that are there in the array right we can do the comparison if the value that we have maintained in our variable let's call it as min value so if min value is what min value is greater than that of the element uh, on which we on which we are currently in the array so update the value of min value right so this is how we'll be traversing each and every element of the array. We'll be going through each and every element of the array and we'll update the value of our variable uh, if we are coming across a minimum value in the in the element in the array, right? So this is going to be a linear approach, right? Where we are doing the linear searching thing. Linear searching thing we are going to do for determining the minimum number in a sorted rotated array. So yeah, that's easy. But here in the question, they have specified to solve this question with a time complexity of log n, right? And in the starting part itself, they have specified that the array was sorted. So we know that if the array is sorted, we can refer what? We can refer binary search. The only difference is there in this problem that the array has been rotated later. So that's why it's not sorted now. It's not sorted now. Okay. But initially it was sorted. But even then we can apply the binary search. If you will observe the given array carefully, so here if you will see, like is this array. So it's not like the complete array is unsorted. Here you can see in this array, this much part, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, this is still sorted, right? This is still sorted. Similarly, here as well, 3, 4, 5, this part is still sorted. So our answer that we are looking for the minimum value, probably that will be in unsorted part. So here you can see, uh, we got answer 1, which is in the unsorted part. Similarly here, the answer was 1. So that would be in the unsorted part, right? Till 2 to 8, this is sorted. So that's why in this problem, we can go with the binary search approach. So let's understand how we are going to implement the binary search and then we'll be seeing the coding part, right? So let's say we are having the array elements as 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1. Um, let me mention the index as well. So, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So, this array is having what? 10 elements. Okay. So, as if I mentioned that we will be using a binary search here. So, the same thing that we do in binary search. Two pointer start as well as end. Okay. Now, we have start that has been initialized with 0 and end that has been initialized with n minus 1. So, here n values 10 means it would be 9. Now, we'll be determining the mid mid part, right? So, mid element. So, how we are going to calculate this? Okay. So, simply uh, simply s plus e minus s divided by 2. 
okay so that's what we are going to do this is just to avoid the overflow part otherwise we can do simply like this as well like this as well so you will be getting 0 plus 9 divided by 2 so what you will be getting here you will be getting 4 it means this one this index okay fourth index so here we are going to put mid now if you will check here carefully if this array was sorted right if there is no rotation then all the elements should be in sorted order so if this last element if you will check here so this should be something greater than that of this mid value right if the array was sorted okay so this is how we can determine we have to find out the unsorted part because our value that we are trying to determine here now that would be in unsorted part only okay so here you can see this part is already sorted this part is completely sorted but when you will compare this mid value this arr of mid that is what six with arr of e so you can see here six value is greater than one so if this array was sorted this condition should never be true what we will do here we will come to know okay that this part is having this part is having what unsorted thing this is unsorted part so what we'll be doing is we'll be updating the value of s from 0 to mid plus 1 s value will be updated to mid plus 1 so here s would be pointing now so here is the value of s now again we are going to calculate the mid so 9 plus 5 14 14 divided by 2 we'll be having what we'll be having 7 okay so here is our mid this part is sorted right this part is sorted wherever this arr of mid which is nothing but 9 which is nothing but 9 9 it is greater than that of this arr of e the end part that is what 1 so again we can conclude that okay what we can conclude that this part is unsorted here we will be finding our answer so we are going to update the value of s as mid plus 1 s will be pointing to this part now so now s is the value of s is 8 and the value of e is 9 so 8 plus 9 divided by 2 so 8 plus 9 is 17 divided by 2 you will be getting 8 so mid is also pointing to this this one this index 8th index only mid is also here now again you will if you will check here if you will check here err of mid which is nothing but 10 10 is greater than that of err of e 10 is greater than that of err of e which is nothing but 1 so what we can see that this part the right part is unsorted okay so for that what we will do we will update the value of s as mid plus 1 s as mid plus 1 so mid value is 8 so s will point here so s value will be what 9 now s and e has become equal so as soon as they will become equal we will come out of the loop and what we are going to return what we are going to return we are going to return arr of s so arr of s s value is what 9 so what is at the ninth index 1 and that what would be our answer let's take one more example so 3 4 5 1 2 0 1 2 3 4 so here the mid part would be this one this index okay this is starting one this is ending one so here also we will check so you can see this part is sorted right this is the unsorted part so if you will do the comparison so arr of mid that is 5 is 5 is greater than that of 2 5 is greater than that of 2 it means this is the unsorted part so we will be updating the value of s as mid plus 1 so s will be pointing to this part now okay this part we discarded this part we discarded okay so again we will calculate the mid so 4 plus 3 7 divided by 2 3 so mid is pointing to this 3 only to this third index only okay now here if you will see so what is the value of arr of mid that is 1 and what is the value of arr of e that is 2 so 1 greater than 2 this time this part is not true right arr of mid is not greater than arr of e so if this is not the case then what what does it mean what does it mean that we have to check in the left side only we have to check in the left side only so what we're going to do in that scenario what we're going to do in this scenario we'll be updating the value of updating like when we were checking in the right part we were updating the value of s as s as mid plus one okay uh, now here this condition is not true that err of mid is not greater than that of error of e so in the else part what we're going to do is we are going to update the value of update the value of es es m so m is what m is what three so e will be pointing to this three now because see here can be a possibility that this element can be included right can be our answer or cannot be our answer so we are going to include this m as well this m as well 
ओके दैट्स व्हाई वी हैव वी हैव अपडेटेड ई वैल्यू एज एम ई इक्वल टू एम सो नाउ हियर इफ यू विल चेक सो नाउ दिस दिस एस एंड वेल एज स्टार्ट एज वेल एज एंड हैज बिकम इक्वल राइट एस इक्वल इक्वल टू ई दिस कंडीशन हैज बिकम ट्रू राइट सो वी विल कम आउट ऑफ द लूप एंड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू रिटर्न वी आर गोइंग टू रिटर्न ए आर आर ऑफ एस व्हिच इज नथिंग बट वन and that's what our answer is that's what our answer is right so i hope that the logic part is clear for you so let's move to the coding part now so here as well we have written the code that for which the logic we discussed just now right so we are having high as well as low so while low is less than high we are continuing in this loop and here in the loop itself we are calculating this mid so mid equal to low plus high minus low divided by 2 now here if we are checking that if arr of mid is greater than that of arr of high so if this is the condition this condition is true it means the right part of the array is not sorted right so we are updating the value of low as mid plus 1 otherwise what we are doing is if that is not the case so we are updating the value of high as mid and at the last we are simply returning arr of low right so i hope that you must have understood the complete code the logic part that we discussed in this video thank you so much everyone for watching this video i have provided the code in the description for the different purpose and don't forget to share and subscribe my channel and do join our telegram community as well thank you for watching